Thank you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Once again, welcome to the Pie Canela Online School. <laughs> My name is Joe Burgos, founder of the Pie Canela Dance School here in New York City, welcoming you once again back to the free online classes we're having this entire month. So, guys, don't forget that the way this works is if you have Facebook, you can certainly go ahead and take a look at us. If you have Instagram, you can take a look at the class. Today, we are not on YouTube because we're testing out more of our, our, of our resources, yes? So what we're gonna do is go center stage on Facebook today, yes? And if you have Instagram, we're gonna go into the side view. And if you have both, even better, all right? We are also going to record this class and we're gonna try to upload it later on to YouTube. We're testing out the quality, the feed, the sound. Uh, as you know, we've been thrown into this, so we wanna make sure that we're still doing the best quality uh, video so that you can go ahead and enjoy the classes and learn as much as possible, all right? So again, these videos are gonna be staying on Facebook and on YouTube so that you can go ahead and watch the video once again and learn at your own pace or at a convenient time for you, yes? So let's get started, guys. We're gonna go ahead and warm up. This is series part two, yes? Part two of series two, two of three. The next one will be in a couple of days on Friday. Let's warm up, guys, and here we go. Basic. Five, six, seven, one. Five, six, seven, one. Five, six, seven, one. Yeah. All right, give me the W, guys. Ready? First to the left. Then to the center. Over to the right. Back to the center. Over to the left. Keep going. That's it. One more. And stay in the center, guys. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Right turn. Right turn. Right turn. Good. Left turn. Left turn. One more, left turn. Let's go ahead and put that all together, guys. Left turn, left corner. Right turn, right corner. And back to the center. Yes. If this feels comfortable for you, start rolling your shoulders, loosen your neck, get your rib cage and waist moving. Let's do it again. Left turn. Left corner. Right turn. Right corner. And back to the center. Yes. In part one, we learned how to do shines. So let's go ahead and do that now. Triple tap. Yes. Back to basic. Let's do it again. Triple tap. And back to basic. Good. Side to side. And back to basic. Again. Side to side. And back to basic. Good. And the last one, the front double cross. In, out, in, in, out, in. In, out, in, and back to basic. One, six, seven, one. Again, front double cross. In, out, in, in, out, in, in, out, in, and back to basic again. One. All right. Did you get that? Now, if you don't know those steps, don't panic. All you have to do is visit us on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. 
or Facebook or on Instagram, and you can see the, pre the recorded classes there so you can review and repeat series part one of this three-part series. Yeah, part one of this three-part series. But we're gonna go ahead and break these down really quickly just to catch you up, and then we're gonna go ahead and introduce the new material. So here we go, guys. Bend your knees from here. If you took part one, you, know, re you remember that we go back five, six, and seven. We angle our body to the right. While keeping the face forward, we tap one, two, and three times. But remember, these are called developing steps for a reason. Not only is our foot moving forward three to five inches every time, but our body weight is also moving forward. So on the first tap, about 30, 60, and finally 90% of my body weight, enough so I can pivot to the other 45 degree, and again, 30, 60, and 90 once again. After that, we go back to basic. Let's try that one time. Five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. We do one, two, three, followed by five, six, seven. Repeat, one, two, three, followed by five, six, and seven, and basic forward, two and three. Last time, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. We step one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and back to basic we go. Awesome. That was the first one we learned in the first part of our series. Then we decided to move on to the second step, which was a side to side. Bend your knees, guys, and let's try that one. We go back five, six, seven, five, six, seven. Remember, as we tap, we also angle our body 45 degrees to the right, and we begin by opening, closing, opening, and tapping. Whoa, let's try that again. I'm going quickly through these because we covered these in part one. Five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. Tap and angle your body and we begin. One, two, three, and tap four. After which I'm going to pivot to the other 45 degrees and repeat the same motion by opening, closing, opening, and tapping. We did that in total four times. So let's try that now. Five, six, seven, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tap on eight and basic forward, one, two, and three. Awesome. Last time, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we return back to basic on the one, two, and three. Make sense? So again, we did the triple tap, the side to side, and the last one, the challenging one, was the front double cross. Let's review that one really quickly. We go back, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven, and we begin. Back tippy toe tapping, remember, my foot peels off the floor, the knee goes up, my foot is pointed, not flexed, but pointed, and I tippy toe tap over my left foot for one. Drawing a straight line, I point on two, and I transfer the weight as I tuck it back in on the number three. Let's try that again. We go back, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven, and we go one, two, three. After switching the body weight, it's easy now to take the left knee up, point the foot, and repeat the same motion on the opposite side. Again, we do that for four times. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. One, two, switch, five, six, switch, one, two, switch, and five, six, basic forward, one, two, and three. Excellent. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. We go in, out, switch the foot, in, out, switch your foot, in, out, switch your foot, in, out, basic forward, one, two, and three. All right, last time, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven, we go. In, out, switch the foot, in, out, switch your foot, in, out, switch your foot, in, out, basic, and one, two, and three. I hope you remember, and if you don't, it's okay. All you have to do again is check out part one of the second series of Salsa on Two. So let's go ahead and try this with music. And then we're gonna get into our two new shines that we're gonna do today. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Ready? Triple tap. And tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Back to basic. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Let's try that again. Triple tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. And back to basic. One, 
five, six, seven. Last time. Here we go. And tap, 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 tap. Back to basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yes. Let's try the side to side. Here we go. And one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Back to basic. One, five, six, seven. Let's do it again. Five, six, seven. One, five, one. And back to basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Again, last one. To the right, to the left. Try to stay as low as you can. Angle your body. Back to basic. Five, six, seven. All right. The last one, guys, the front double cross. Here we go. And in, out, in, in, out, in. In, out, in. Back into the base again. One, six, seven. Again, here we go. In, out, in, in, out, in. In, out, in. Back to basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Last time. Go. In, out, in, in, out, in. In, out, in. And back to basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven, and stop. All right, how was that? I hope you guys remember all, everything that we did in part number one. All right, we got two new shines we're gonna learn today, so let's get to it. Feet together, guys. Remember the three golden rules, bend your knees, heels off the ground, and remember to shift your weight. We're gonna step back five, six, seven. Number five, number six, and number seven. Since the body weight's on the left leg, the next foot I'm going to be giving you to you is going to be the right foot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step in place, right next to the left foot. But my body weight is focused on the right side. Enough so I can lift the left foot and take a step shoulder width apart or hip width apart, symmetrical to my body. Yes? I'm going to make sure that the weight is on the left leg completely though by taking my rib cage and making sure the middle of my rib cage is hovering over the balls of my left foot. Let's try that again. Back five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. Step number one, and I'm gonna sh move my weight over to the left side. Now that my weight's completely on the left, my right foot is free to move. So what I'm gonna do is pick it up, take a step, but remember, for that to be an official dance step, I have to move my weight all the way back to that foot. Let's try that again. We're going back, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. The body weight begins on the right foot as I step one, transfers over to the left leg as I step two, up and down with the right foot and goes back to the right leg as I step number three. And if you got that, that's just halfway right there. Let's try that again. We're going back, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. Step to the center one, step to the side two, rock back number three. Now that the weight's on the right, guess what? We're gonna do the same thing on the right side by tucking in the left foot and switching the weight to the left leg on five, opening up shoulder, hip width apart, for six, moving my body weight enough so I can lift the left leg up and down in the same spot for step number seven. Let's repeat that. We're going back five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. I step to the center one, step to the side two, and rock back number three. I step to the center five, open up number six, and rock back number seven. We have to do six steps in total. Be careful. If you're an on one dancer, you may be only doing four. So you wanna make sure that you have six steps all coming off the ground. Let's try that again. We're going back, five, six, seven. In, five, six, seven. Middle, open, step. Middle, open, step. Middle, open, step. Middle, open, basic. One, two, three. Just like everything else, we're doing it four times. Here we go. Five, six, seven. In. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five. Back to basic and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Yes, we call that the side basic. Let's do that a couple of times with music and we're moving on to the last step of the day. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Ready? Remember. We're starting with the right leg, guys. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Middle, open step. Middle, open step. Middle, open step. And back to basic. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Let's do it again. Here we go. Middle, open step. Middle, open step. Middle, open step. Back to basic. 
One, two, three. Six, seven. One, six, seven. Here we go. Middle open step, middle open step, and back to basic. One, two, and three. All right. Did you get the side basic? Add that to your arsenal of shines. Let's do the last one for today. And this one is one of my favorites. It's called the macho. M-A-C-H-O, macho step. Bend your knees. We're going back five, six, seven. And five, six, seven. From here, guys, we're gonna take the right leg. We're gonna take one long step forward in the 11 o'clock position. And as soon as I transfer the weight over to the right without letting my heel touch the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and twist otherwise known as a pivot. Let's try that again. We're going back, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. I take one step forward and I twist to my left, transferring the weight back over to the left leg. Yes, that's one macho. Here we go. Reach with your right toes, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. Step number one and twist right away. Now look how easy we're gonna make this. We're gonna do this four times with the same leg, always twisting to your left. Let's try that now. We're going back, five, six, seven, and five, six, seven. Step number one, and twist. Step number two, and twist. Step number three, and twist. And we'll do it one more time, and back to basic. One, two, three, yes. So a total of four times, just like all the other shines that we've done. Now notice that when I take a step again, the heel does not touch the ground. If I put the foot on completely flat on the ground, it makes it very difficult for me to go ahead and twist, otherwise known as a pivot. So I only wanna make sure that I step with the balls of my feet, making it very easy for me to go ahead and pivot. And try to pivot with your entire body to make it look very dramatic and very sharp. Here we go. Back, five, six, seven. In, five, six, seven. Step and pivot, step and pivot, step and pivot, step and pivot, and back to basic, okay? Last thing I'm gonna say before we try this with music, remember that I said step on the 11 o'clock, so you're imagining a clock on the floor and you're taking the right foot and stepping in the 11 o'clock every time. If you step on the one o'clock and try to pivot, you end up with twisted legs, making it very hard to continue. If you step on the 12 o'clock and you pivot, you end up losing your balance because one foot is directly behind or in front of the other. So the only way that this works is when you step on the one o'clock and then, 11 o'clock, sorry, and pivot so that each foot, as you can see, has its own lane. Now you're perfectly balanced, you transfer the weight to the front foot and you're ready to do it again. All right, let's try this one with music and then we're gonna put it all together. Here we go. Hi, six, seven. Yes. Five, six, seven, ready? Macho. Right foot, pivot, right foot, pivot, right foot, pivot, right foot, pivot, and back to basic. Yes. Let's do it again. Right leg, and step, pivot, reach, pivot, reach, pivot, reach, pivot. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Last one. Here we go. And step, pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, and back to basic. One, five, six, seven. Yeah. Did you get that one? All right. Remember, it's the same step done four times, otherwise known as the macho step, right? I want to take this time to remind you guys, if you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and click the button that says subscribe. We want to have more people join our family. And if you're on Facebook, we certainly would appreciate some likes. Share this with as many people as possible. And those of you on Instagram, where are my hearts and my comments? I definitely want to see you guys. And definitely don't forget to join us at uh, five o'clock on Saturday when we're doing the virtual happy hour. All right. So guess what? It's time to put all of this together. Let's do the class combo. Then we're going to do a social combo. And I'm going to once again call on stage my better half, Miss Bianca Soto. Play the same song, Bianca, and get out here. That's it. Five, six, seven. There she is. Two, three. Six, seven. One, two, three. Six, seven. <laughs> All right. We're going to do what we learned in part one of the series two. Ready? Give me the W first. To the left. Looking forward. Back to the center. 
over to the right, looking forward, and back to the center. Good. Right turn. Yes. Again. Right turn. Good. Left turn. Yes. Left turn. Good. All right. That's what we learned in series one. In series two, part one, we learned the triple tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Looking forward the whole time. And back to basic. Let's do it again. Triple tap. And tap, tap, tap. Good. We learned the side to side. Here we go. And back to basic. Let's do it again. Side to side. And back to basic. Good. Now let's get into what we learned today. Ready? Side basic. Middle open step. Middle open step. And back to basic. Five, six, seven. Again. Side basic. Middle open step. And back to basic. Two more times. Here we go. And middle open step. And back to basic. Five, six, seven. Again. Here we go. Middle open step. And back to basic. And the last one, the macho step. We go step, pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, step, basic. One, two, three, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Again. And step, pivot, step, pivot, step, pivot, and back to basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One last time. Reach. Here we go. One. Reach. Reach. Yes. And back to basic. All right. Did you get it? That's everything we've covered up to this point. And now what we're going to do is break down a social combination. Yes? In order to do a social combo, and remember, a class combo can certainly be done. Yes? A class combo is exactly what we just did. But we can take bits and pieces of each one and create a social combo. So this is what we're going to do, guys. To create the social combo, to get it started, we're going to go into a right turn. We're going to go one, two, three. But I'm immediately going to go ahead and enter into the side basic. Six, seven. Let's try that again. So again, I'm going to start the right turn. One, two, three. But I'm going to immediately go into the side basic. So I'm only doing half of a right turn into the side basic. Everybody got that? Half of a right turn into the side basic. So here we go. And five, six, seven. I'm going one, two, three. I'm interrupting it so I can go into the side basic. Yeah. So let's try that with a count. We're going to do five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. Then one, two, three. I'm adding the triple tap right away. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven. And five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Did you get that? Just a half right into the triple tap. Again, five, six, seven. And five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Then we're going to add one side to side. Five, six, seven. Good. Let's do it again. And five, six, seven. Half of a right turn into a side basic, into a triple tap, into the side to side. And guess what? Two machos, and we're done by finishing with a left turn all the way around. Did you get that? Well, don't worry. I'm going to call Bianca out one more time, and we're going to do it all together with you guys. Yes? Don't forget, after this, we're going to reset and come back with Bachata class. Yes, the beginner series two, part two of three. Let's do it. Basic. Five, six, seven. Five, six, seven. Ready? 
Here we go. Half of a right, side basic, triple tap, side to side, one macho, two macho, and a left turn to take it home. One, five, six, seven. Let's do it again. Right turn gets interrupted by the side basic. The triple tap, the side to side, two machos, and a quick left to bring it back. One, five, six, seven. One, five, six, seven. Let's do it again. Right turn. Yes, keep going. Yeah, did you get it? I hope so. Right, basic. One, five, six, seven. Here we go. Don't forget the right turn interrupted by the side basic. Don't forget to shift your weight and a left turn all the way around. Back to basic. Five, six, seven. Ready? Here we go. Right turn into the side basic. The triple tap, the side to side, two machos, and the left turn to put it all together. Five, six, seven. Ready? Go! Yes! Five, six, seven. Two more times. Ready? Go! Let's do it again. Here we go. Yes. That's it. Last time, guys. Here we go. All right. I hope you got that and I hope you're sweating as much as we are. We'll be right back <laughs> with Bachata. <laughs> 